Gwen Stefani stunt in translucent gown as she sings Stop a Storm on the Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. Christmas is getting ever nearer. And Gwen Stefani looked full of holiday cheer when she performed on Tuesday's episode of the Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. The 48-year-old singer was a knockout in a translucent crepe pink gown that showed off her chiseled legs and featured a spray of frill at the right shoulder. Her ensemble, which fell off the left shoulder, was accented with a small cape down the back and a sprawl of intricate embroidery over her bust. Platinum blonde Gwen, who with her ex-husband Gavin Rossdale has got three children, wore heavy makeup including pink lipstick. In October of this year, Gwen released her first ever Yuletide album, You Made It Feel Like Christmas, which is also only her fourth solo studio album overall. Its lead single and title song features Blake Shelton, her dashing current boyfriend, who was named People's Sexiest Man Alive for this year. Gwen's new album has also got plenty of old standards, from secular numbers like White Christmas and Santa Baby to the religious carol Silent Night. Songs on the new record also include the catchy Let It Snow and Last Christmas, a song by Wham, whose lead singer George Michael died at 53 last Christmas. One of Jimmy's guests, who at one point rose from her armchair behind his guest and stood, was Rebel Wilson. She had slipped into a half-sleeve sequined black cocktail dress with a slender strip of red fabric bordering her cuffs. Similar scarlet fabric framed her décolletage and her glistening ensemble featured a lacy black hemp line right around the knees. She rounded off the look with a pair of deep red heels, wearing her wavy blonde hair down with a slight part in the fringe. Rebel is starring in Pitch Perfect 3, having also been in the first two films of the musical franchise. The third film, which will be out stateside this Friday, was directed by Trish Asai. Trish is the successor to movie star Elizabeth Banks, who had helmed Pitch Perfect 2, and Jason Moore who directed the original Pitch Perfect. Kay Cannon, who has a sole screenplay credit on the first two films in the trilogy, co-wrote this new movie with Mike White. The trilogy of films find their basis in Mickey Rapkin's 2008 non-fiction book Pitch Perfect, The Quest for Collegiate Acapella Glory.